Babe? What happened? Is anything wrong? You know, she actually is being very strange. You know, she doesn't talk to me and she's always on the phone with strange people. Okay. So how is that a problem? I know I'm... You know, she, she's, she always wants to seek for attention. You know? Now, right now she's not even paying any mind to what I do in the house. She's just doing her thing, and that's strange. <laughs> you should not be worried about that. She's having enough fun for herself. How do you mean? <laughs> well, Anne has a new boyfriend. Why she doesn't care about you anymore. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Here you go. Take a look. What? This is why she cares less about you. Because she's getting whatever she wants from someone else. So she doesn't need you anymore. What is this nonsense? No, look, look, look! What, what is this rubbish? Oh, oh, okay. So you recognize the person in the picture, I, right? I can explain. You can explain. I can explain. You can explain. <laughs>
did you drop your phone all day? Where did I drop my phone all day? Is this supposed to be a welcome back home thing to your husband? work this evening already so I was actually calling because it was important look I've told you if it's important just leave a message Charles where have you been I was busy busy is not a name of a place or what you were doing? I've been calling you all day. You're not taking your calls and you're telling your wife that you're busy. It doesn't even make sense to you. What is going on, Charles? I know you know what? See all this nagging you're doing right now. It's not going to be of any good to you or me. So, just leave me alone and let me be. I'm tired. I've had a long day at work. I've told you, where is my be? I'm at work. That's where I've been. Charles, Charles. I don't want to have peace in this house again. Baby, baby, please, baby, please. I just want to make out with you, please. I uh, beg uh, you, please. I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired. I don't want to make out. Baby, you haven't touched me in a while, please. I miss you. Well, I'm tired. Huh? I don't want. Baby, what is going on? Huh? Your body barely recognizes my touch anymore. Even when I'm naked, what is going on, Charles? I said I'm tired now. I'm tired. <laughs> okay. It's fine if you don't want to make out. Just kiss me. Hold me. Just I'm me. tired, Jesus! I'm tired. I'm very tired. I want to sleep. Friends are supposed to Love you, care for you, protect you. But he said no, some of them will scheme against you. It is those who know you that can bring you down. Now, who know your secret? Go feed, expose us. But the hearts are hearts are made of stone. They will hurt you and show no mercy. Nature has a rule. You go surely pay for everything you do. You won't get away with causing someone pain. No, think twice, cause in the end, justice must be served. You go painful for everything you've done. Just beware of those that call your friend, cause they will show no mercy. Friends are supposed to love you, care for you, protect you. But he said no, some of them will scheme against you. It is those who know you that can bring you down. Now who knows the secret go feed expose us? Good morning. Good morning, you 
Did you sleep on this couch crying again? Where's my breakfast? I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I slept longer than I should. I, oh. I I'll just make your breakfast immediately. I'm so sorry. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> are, you, are you mad? Of what use are you to me? I'm about to leave to work now and my breakfast is not ready. You're very useless to me. Sorry. You're sorry. You're telling me you're sorry. I'm sorry. You're telling me you're, you're still talking you're sorry. You're still sitting on the couch. Pardon me, I'm sorry. What am I supposed to be doing with you? You're useless to I'll, me. I'll get your breakfast. I'll get your breakfast. You will get my breakfast. Get my Are you Are you mad? Look at this rubbish. Look, whatever you are preparing, like it, you better bring it to my office. What type of nonsense is this? Very useless woman. It's my fault, and you should have woken up early to get your, your husband breakfast ready. It's my fault. <laughs> now he beats you because he wants to correct you. It's your fault, and you're supposed to wake up early and make his breakfast for him. <laughs> now he beats you because he loves you. Recently, he has been giving me excuses every night. But I think that story is in the past. Mm. My darling, it still lingers. Yes, but apart from that, every other thing is perfect. Then what is problem? Walk, 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 walk. That is tired and he wants to sleep. But I think most men use their wife to unwind after a stressful day at work. Exactly what I taught my darling friend. I don't know why my own case is different. Maybe I just, I just want my man to come back from work to me. Like make love to me, cuddle me. Make me feel like your wife. <sighs> it's okay, baby. Just don't give up on him. He surely will come back. For how long? For how long? Maybe he's having one or two problems at work. Just give him small time. He will surely come back around. Maybe I'll come on. If he doesn't tell me as his wife, how will I know how to help him? He doesn't even discuss his job with me. I know, darling. I'm so sorry you're going through all this in your marriage. But don't worry, everything will be fine, okay? Yes, everything will be fine. You're welcome. Mabel, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Protect you, but it's sad to know. 
know some of them will scheme against you. It is those who know you that can bring you down. Now who know your secrets? Go feed the exposure. Big friends, big friends are in the midst within. They will hurt you. They will smile in your face. Big friends, but the Surely pay for everything you do You won't get away with causing someone pain No, think twice cause in the end Justice must be served You go painful for everything you've done yeah. They are in this Wakey, wakey. Hey, baby. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Oh, this morning. Gosh. What time is it, please? It's just 7 a.m. 7? Why didn't you wake me up since I'm almost late for work? Charles, you... Last night you claimed to be exhausted. I didn't want to wake you up forcefully. Claim? So are you now calling me a liar? Charles, no, not, not at all, please. I just came to tell you that your breakfast is ready. I'm late for work. I already served it at the table for you. I said, pack it up. I'm late for work. What's going on? You have been distant. Always very tired from work and exhausted. You're not here anymore. Anne, I've told you before that work has been very, very demanding recently. No, Charles. It's more than that. I feel like a stranger in my home. What are you driving at? You tell me. And it's work. It's work. Work, work, work. And that's what I've been doing. Work. Work. You work even at nights and at weekends? Huh? Wait, I, are you suggesting that I'm seeing someone? You tell me otherwise. And do you work? No, 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 let's, let's, let's have that conversation. Do you work? No. Do you even know what it means to work? You don't. But I do know what it means to work. I wake up every morning, get out of bed, go in the shower, get dressed, get a suit on, and go into the office to make, make sure that there's food on the table and the bills get paid. Don't you talk to me like that, Charles. Don't you talk to me like that. You asked me to quit my job so I could have time.
time and make babies. Tell me, how am I supposed to get those babies from the trees in your village? Tell me, so those are your colleagues at work, they don't make love to their wives? Charles, you need to be a man! You're very stupid. You're mad in your head. You dare compare me with those men? Well, let me tell you something. The wives of those men, they respect their husbands. They don't nag at them. Okay? The next time you try something like this again, you're done. Friends are supposed to love you, care for you, protect you. But it's sad to know some of them will scheme against you. It is those who know you that can bring you down. Now who know your secret go feed expose Served downstairs or the dining room. So, why don't you get up and go and consume it? Mm -hmm. you, you made me breakfast? How? Okay. Honey, you're right. I actually just let my pride to take a hold of me. And it's not something that I should have done. You know, I, honestly, I'm working hard to be able to balance between my work and you, my family. I, I promise, look, this will be a new beginning for me. I promise. Charles, you promise? I promise. <sighs> <laughs> go away. Oh my god. Go away, I like, really you met. So we're gonna have it together. Let's go. Let's go have it. Well, I, I I would come have it with you, but I need to go shower because I have to get to work. Wait, I need to even... Are you sure? You made me breakfast? You wanna dare say my food doesn't taste good? Go, go. No, but Charles, I'm just... Mm. Mm. Charles, Please! Yes! Oh yes. my god! Charles, tell me you're not joking! I'm not joking! Tell me you're not pulling my legs! No! Why oh, would I? Wait! Okay, you. come here, Charles. Fine. Over. What's up? What the excitement all about? Babes, it's settled. It's settled. It's settled. <laughs> What's settled? Okay, so. Oh my god. So last night I and Charles had an argument and it was really heated. Again? That's not even a point. That's not a point. That's not a point, Mabel. He apologized. He said he was sorry. He did? Yes, he did. He said he was sorry. Oh my God, Mabel, guess what? He made breakfast for me. And he said I was right. And he was sorry for everything. Oh my God, Mabel, he hasn't done this in a long while. <laughs> anyway, I told you that you should just give him small time. He will come around. <laughs> That's not even all. My darling husband said he was going to get back early today for us to spend enough time tonight. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm so happy. 
<laughs> Baby girl, I'm happy for you. Like your marriage is coming back stronger. Yes, yes, Mabel. I'm so happy. Thank you so much. You are my friend. You know what? I have to go now. I'm going to the market. I want to get some things I'll use to make dinner. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you people that have husband, God will give us our own. No. You will. You will. You're a good person, Mabel. You're a good friend. Or right, I'll talk to you later. I have to get ready. <laughs> oh my God. I'm so happy. Hello, Teddy Bear. So tell me, what are you up to? I just got back from my lunch break. Ah, so, okay. So what are your plans today after work? Um, going back home. To do what? When people are looking for places to unwind? Tell me you're joking. <laughs> Are you trying to say something? Okay, what about I say I have a special treat for you at home? You come over after work. Uh... Do you have other plans? All right, I'll, I'll, I'll see you after work. Okay, baby, see you soon. Bye. <sighs> Surely pay for everything you do. You won't get away with causing someone pain. No, let's get enough of you. Friends are supposed to love you, care for you, protect you. But it's sad to know some of them will scheme against you. It is those who know you that can bring you down now who know your secrets go feed expose big friends big friends are enemies within they will hurt you surely they will smile in your face big friends but the hearts are hearts are made of stone they will hurt you surely Nature has a rule, you go surely pay for everything you do. You won't get away with causing someone pain, no. Think twice, cause in the end, justice must be served. You go painful for everything you've done, yeah. Just beware of those that call your friend, cause they will show no mercy. Your husband is cheating on you. And if you don't act fast, you will die of starvation. Maybe I'll... How do I even know that? Eh? He will never admit. The last time I confronted him, he lashed out at me so bad. He even made me feel like a terrible person. <laughs> Wait, Anne. Like, seriously? You're waiting for your husband to admit to you that he's cheating? <sighs> Maybe oh, I don't have anything on him. I don't even have proof. I can't even access his phone. I don't want to go to him making noise without having any, anything on me. You know what? I'm tired. 
I'm tired. If he wants to cheat, if he wants to do anything, he should just do all I want from Charles. It's just for him to regard me as his wife. Anna, are you saying that you don't care if your husband is out there cheating? Wait, Anne. Have you seen these girls? Have you seen how hot their eyes are? And do you think these girls will just let him go easily? No. No, my darling. They will eat him and suck him dry. Yes. Maybe I'll... To be honest, you're not making this matter easy for me. But babe, for God's sake, I'm saying the truth. I'm not even exaggerating. It's the truth I'm saying. Yes, hello? So tell me. Yes, are you having any challenges? Questions? Confusions? Okay, listen. Whatever you need is in that file. It will tell you when to speak and the question to ask. Yes, please, but you have to strictly. What? Okay, listen, all this meeting is not even useful, okay? Just make it believable. And besides, we're dealing with a very busy man. Once he notices you're not going straight to the point, he'll get up and leave. So please be professional. You have to deliver. Okay then, thank you. You better don't fuck me up, bitch. You better don't. Frank, you don't remember? Oh, okay, fine. I understand. It must be because of my beard. I am um, Frank, the guy who worked in the same company with you as a software engineer. You don't remember? Okay, I'll help you again. I work with a software engineering company and I was sent as a representative at the time. I was at the IT department. Oh my God, Frank! Yeah. Wow, you, you best have changed you. Yeah, I can imagine. How are you doing? I'm fine. And wow. How are you? <laughs> well, you glow, I must say, but you don't look as cheerful as you used to. Is everything okay? I'm fine. Mm. Yeah. You're sure? I'm okay. Okay. I think we should reconnect. It's my card. No, no, no. I'm married. You are? Yes. Wow. <laughs> That's a beautiful thing. Wow. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, but I think you should still keep this. I mean, come on, it's just a business card. You can call me for the services I render. It's okay. Mm, thank you. Good to see you again. Same here. Hi. So, we'll see you another time, okay? Wow.
Ah. Jane. Yes, you correct. Sir. Oh, from from the okay, yeah. Nice, nice to meet you. Yeah. Be careful, something. Oh no, no, I'm okay. Thank okay. you. Yeah. Right, you're welcome. So we heard about your work at Dowson Corporation. It's very impressive. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. Are you, uh, you in that field? In a way, we have a proposition though for you that would interest you in bringing your skills to limelight. Oh. Interesting, I'm listening. Okay, so we have a tech team that are focused on sustainability. So they are going to like, you need people like us. Yeah. Oh, I see, I so, see. And we are going to be focused on you individually and not the company you work for. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. I think I like that idea though. Okay. okay. So we are going to be marketing your skills for better work. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I, I, I like that idea. So, um, this entire thing you've just described mm -hmm. now, when do we begin and stuff like that? I'm going to show you a file so you can oh. go through it. Okay. The file so okay. Okay. you can go through them. Oh, awesome, awesome, mm -hmm. awesome, awesome. You look nice, by the way. Oh, thank you very much. So, yeah. you can go through the files. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. It's a chunk of files here. Exactly. So we mean business. I see. I see that. I'm sorry. Um, okay, let me go through. Take a look at them. These girls are high class chicks. Any man they get involved with, he's gone. <sighs> Mimo, what do I do? Uh, I think you can go back to your prayers, but I doubt if that's going to solve anything. Maybe he'll tell me, do I confront him? Do you want my advice? That's why I'm here. What do I do? Let him go. And for God's sake, there are 1,001 men out there ready to satisfy you. What? Yes. I have contact of clean men, very, very clean men with big joystick that can give you maximum satisfaction. No, you're stupid. You're crazy. Listen, I, 
I know my husband is cheating, but I would never, ever cheat on him. Never. Um, Anne, I'm the only best friend you can ever have. And I will never advise you the wrong way. You shouldn't be the only one cheating. You should go out there and have fun. You shameless male whore. Answer me! Ten, eight, five. How many ladies? Jesus, what are you talking hey, about? Hey, hey, hey. Don't you patronize me. Yes, you can't deny this. Honey, just go ahead and make your point. That should be my point. Okay. Ah, this man, you're joking with me. That's just work. It's just business. Man. Business? Oh, really? And after business, you took her to the room, right? Wait, 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 hold on. Who's feeding you all of this stuff and where did you even get that picture from? It doesn't matter, Charles. Listen, I'm tired. I'm tired of all your lies. You go out there, you spend time with them, and you can even spend time with your wife. You know what? You are a big shame. Oh, wait, listen. This should be the last time that you make such a baseless, stupid accusation on me. Charles, prove me wrong that you have nothing to do with her. I have nothing to prove to you. And whoever sent those pictures to you, they are as dumb as you are. Yeah, go! Go! Go to her! And come and tell you want! Fine! And I'm done complaining, Charles! I am done! Friends are supposed to love you, care for you, protect you. But it's sad to know some of them will scheme against you. It is those who know you. It's okay, babe. Please don't tell me it's okay. I do you know the gravity of just accusing someone of something you didn't do. Ah, huh? for God's sake, that was a business meeting. I know, my love, I know. And then. All of, on top of it all, she, she, she sent someone, showed me a picture and said, it's as if she's sending someone to take me a picture of me. How did she get the picture? But, how will she do that? Why? Baby, it's okay. Baby. By the way, I've never seen you this angry before. It sends chill down my spine. And honestly, you're, so, you're very handsome when you're angry. Oh, you know my wife now. Hmm? Is it too late? Too late for what? To be your wife. You know, I've always loved you from the very first day I met you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're not no, serious. It's not funny. Like, my boss just want me to work. Like, even on a Sunday, I'm sure that man wants me to work. And I'm tired. I just want someone to just come and fall in love with me and just take me away. <laughs> <laughs> You're not I'm serious. Sorry, girl, you don't understand how my job is. Ah, babe, there's a cute guy at your back. Don't look at him. Should I look? No, Should don't. Look? No. Hello, ladies. Hey, handsome. Hi, how are you? You don't mind if I join you? Guys? For sure. Great, great. Uh, uh, uh. <clears throat> um, I'm sorry to bother you, but earlier when I walked in, I saw you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna say you guys look so good, looking oh, beautiful. Thank you. Um, I don't mean to intrude or anything. If it's not a bother, uh, can I get your number? Oh, sure, you can. Oh, no, I mean her. I'm 
I'm sorry. I'm in a hurry. I'm about to leave, so I would like to keep in touch. My name is Charles, by the way. What's yours? Mm. Nice to meet you. Can I get your number, though? Is that all right? Thank you. All right, you have a good night, right? The drink's on me, by the way. Yeah. 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 Okay, bye. Bye. It's good for But I saw the two of you in there. I noticed her first because she got my attention. No, babe. I was the one trying to get your attention, not her. But I could only be with one woman at a time now, as a gentleman. You're married to Anne anyways, so... Good afternoon. Hi. I hope there's no agreement whatsoever. No. No exchange of contact? Not at all. What about the file you gave him? They're all filled with fake numbers. None is reachable. Your Instagram account? I actually even forgot to give him that. But seriously though, I got the work done. So if you don't believe me, that is your business. Don't talk to me like that. <laughs> all I'm just trying to say is, if I was actually interested in him, I have so many ways to get him. But this is strictly business. Thank you. Sent your balance. Thank you. But seriously though, that was a lame way of framing somebody. We could have done it properly, just for it to be a very, very serious evidence. Mind your business. <laughs> See, all I'm saying is that you could have gotten him in a very good room, made him naked. Then we'll do the proper thing. It should have been better. Get out of my car. Sorry. Get out of my car. And lose my number. Out!
uh, I'll be returning home late today. I have an exhibition. Okay. Scroll back. I knew it. You knew what? You have the same taste like me. Okay, you know what, girlfriend? Chirad is a very cute guy, and you won't regret hanging out with him. Can I have his number? Oh, yeah, for sure, baby girl, straight up. And, um,. I have some other men I would like to introduce you to. They can take care of you sexually and financially. Maybe I'll one step at a time. <laughs> okay, fine. But honestly, where is my aunt that was killing herself in faithfulness over a man that cheated on her at every slight opportunity? Where is my aunt that used to scream, God forbid, God forbid? Can you stop? <laughs> Maybe that I'm trying to do this doesn't mean it's the right thing to do. You and I know it's very wrong for a married woman. But baby girl, you have options. I don't, do I? Yes, you do. Okay, what about I say you can make use of sex toys? Or you can choose to stay sex tab. Or then, baby girl, you can choose to go out, have fun, and fuck around. Maybe I'll just stop. You're not even making it any better. Huh? <laughs> and it's because Charles left me with no options. But I've just listed the options. Can you just shut up, Mabel? Mm -hmm. This is not right. You and I know Charles. He changed. He wasn't like this. Charles, he used to be a sweet guy. You and I, we met him, you know. He would even take us out and even buy you things, buy me things. He took care of me, he showed me love. Oh, oh, oh. God, I, 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 I miss the Charles I met that evening at the bar. I miss him. And, I want my man back. And can you just stop making excuses for him? Like, honestly, baby girl, if this is all what marriage is about, I, I, like, like I never want to get married. Yes. Cheese. <sighs> well, anyways, I want you to know I've, I will always have your back. Okay? I'm always here for you. And you see this thing? It's only between us. No one will ever get to know. <laughs> Thank you. What a friend's bro. <laughs> so can I, can I have a snack? Oh, back? sure. Zero eight zero. Oh my god, you're so good. You too. I really yeah. enjoy that. Maybe all they lied to me about you though. Right? Yeah. I wish they were before. So, I don't know if we're going to keep doing that. For as long as you want. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So, thank you so much for honoring my invitation. My pleasure. 
Oh, you look a little brighter than the other day. You mind I cross my limit to ask if something was actually responsible for your mood the other time? It's... It's nothing. It's just work stress, yes. Oh, so. work. And talking about work... Where do you work now? I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry if I'm asking too many questions, but it's just that it's been a while I set my eyes on you and I'm so happy to see you again. It's fine. Oh, thank you so much for understanding. So, work? Um, yes, I, I work with... You know what, I... I quit my job. Yes, I, I got married and I stopped working. I actually regret taking that decision. In this age and time, why would you take such a decision in the first place? My husband. My husband and I thought it was a good idea for me to quit my job and focus on having babies. Oh. Yeah, and then resume work. Oh. So, any baby now? No. Oh. Um, you know what? Can we just talk about you and just move on? So you... Okay, um, nothing interesting about me, honestly. I'm just a regular IT guy, comfortable, chasing and achieving my dreams gradually. That's all. Family? Hmm, I am still searching. But no, don't, don't get me wrong, okay? I'm willing to commit myself, okay? But it's just that out there, there are lots of girls, I mean loads of girls and very few women. And that is what every man says. And when you get that woman you really want to spend the rest of your life with, you dump at home and go outside to chase other girls, right? Only a foolish man will dishonor his wife in such a manner. Exactly. So why get married when you know you still want to chase other girls outside? Like you guys just want to just keep a girl at home and just, just cheat on her and it doesn't mix. Oh, go, go, hey. Anne, is everything okay? No, is everything... I, I, are you okay? Um, I'm sorry, I... I have to go now. No, no, just hold on a bit. We can talk about something else if you do not want us to talk about you. I have to go. No. Wait a, wait a minute. She actually is being very strange. You know, she doesn't talk to me and she's always on the phone with strange people. Okay. So how is that a problem? I know I'm you know, she she's she always wants to seek for attention. You know? Now right now she's not even paying any mind to what I do in the house. She's just doing her thing, and that's strange. <laughs> you should not be worried about that. She's having enough fun for herself. How do you mean? <laughs> well, Anne has a new boyfriend. Why she doesn't care about you anymore. 
Hold on a minute. Okay, here you go. Take a look. What? This is why she cares less about you. Because she's getting whatever she wants from someone else. So she doesn't need you anymore. No, look, look, look. What, what is this rubbish? Oh, oh, okay. So you recognize the person in the picture, I, right? I can explain. You can explain. I can explain. You can explain. You can explain. Please, please, please. Don't give me a chance to explain to you. It's not worth it. Would you shut the fuck up? You have nothing to explain. Are you mad? What the wrong is? Are you, are you, are you normal? What if a man goes, goes around sleeping with every, you're fucking every man in town? Charles, I'm sorry, boy. It's your fault. You caused this. How dare you? How dare you tell me I caused it? Huh? You call me a dirty pig? And you? What are you? Tell me. Your wife cheats on you. What does that say to you? That you're a failure, Charles. You're a failure. You don't have my time. You don't care about me. <laughs> Please, 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 let me explain to you. Charles, please. Oh my God, Charles. Get out, get out of my house. Let me. Get out of my house. Let me. I'm sorry, please. Please, please, Charles, Charles, get out, please. Get out of my house. Charles, please. That's your shit. Charles, Take your bag and get out. Get Charles, out of my house. Charles, You're very stupid. Please, I'm begging you, please. I'm begging, please. Just give me the chance to explain to you, please. I love you. I'm sorry. There's no explanation. Sorry. And if by the time I come back and you and your bag, you are still here. Please, I beg you. Charles, please. Get out! Charles, please don't do this to me. Charles, please. Charles, please. Charles, please. Charles, I'm sorry. Please just give me the chance to explain. Charles! Charles, please don't do this to me, please. <laughs> Just please don't do this to me. I'm but begging you. Said no. Some of them will scheme against you. How come? It is those who know you. I don't know, baby. I don't know. Now who knows? Did you show me a picture of myself with a man naked? Hey, you know, this is a shameful thing for a married woman. Oh my god. <sighs> I'm so sorry, sis. I'm so, so sorry, right? But... How? How did he get leaked? Um, I get I, I don't know. Maybe the hotel. The hotel is responsible. Yes. Yes. You think the hotel, they had cameras in their room? Oh. Hey, Anne. Hey, hey. They want this thing to end like this. My marriage has even ended before it started. Who did this to me? Hey, hey. Maybe, oh, please. I don't know. Can I, can I just stay here for a while while I fix myself? Please, I don't have anywhere to go. Uh, Anne. You know Mr. Philip got me this place and he's coming this evening. So maybe you wait when he returns back. Then you can come. But um why don't you check into an hotel? What about that? Okay. I'm sorry, huh?
justice must be served You go painful for everything you've done, yeah friends are enemies They are enemies within They will hurt you and show no mercy Beware of those you trust Beware of those you trust Beware of those that call you your friend Cause they will show no mercy Friends are supposed to love you, care for you, protect you. But it said no, some of them will scheme against you. It is those who know you that can bring you down. Now who know your secret, go feed, expose us. Frank, I'm, I'm fine. I'm okay. I've just been really busy this past few days. How are you doing? Frank, what do you want? Huh? I told you I'm married. Not anymore. I'm fine. And that's final. Sorry if all of this happened to you. I'm sorry. Sorry. Sorry is not what I need. All I asked for was a lovely home. It doesn't have to be perfect. I don't want it perfect. But I viewed it. Everything I viewed it. No. No. None of this was your fault. Okay? And trust me. You didn't ruin anything. Okay? And I really need you to be optimistic about this. Put up a positive attitude about it. I am sure, come on. Look, you, you're hurting me right now. See, trust me, everything will be fine. Huh? Everything will be fine and you'll get your marriage back. By the grace of God. You know how it hurts me to see you cry. You, you, you. Please, please, calm down. Okay? You. Can you stop? Okay, I understand exactly how you feel, but. Just. Okay? Much better, right? You're sure you don't want anything? Friends are supposed to 
You know, I actually should have married you. Yes, you can. What? You've gotten rid of Anne. What's next? It's nothing. It's nothing on my mind. Listen, you are no longer married to her. <laughs> now we can get married. You know that I'm still legally married to my wife, right? I just sent her packing. That's it. So, do you still want her back? Ah, oh, man. I don't know. I don't know what I want. Listen, baby. What she wants is this. Send her divorce papers so we can get married. After all, this is what you've always wanted, so? <laughs> <laughs> Send her divorce papers. Yeah, so we can get married. Yeah? You come here. Come here, Joe. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> you always have a way of perfectly getting what you want. Absolutely. <laughs> house wearing that you were the one that was kicked out of your husband's house remember that you have Mabel you call me a whore wait you are the one who advised me into doing what I'm doing. Advise you? Into doing what you're doing? Hello? Are you a kid? Well, my darling, since you can't take care of your husband, I'm already here helping you out. <laughs> Maybe you called me. Oh, yes. Yes, you are, because you slept with multiple men. Have you forgotten? Yes, you did. Yes. Yes, you did. Where's Charles? Get out of my way! You stupid thing. in this room, so leave immediately. I'm here to pick few things. I'm not here to drop with you. You husband snatcher. Then better do it fast. So these are all your plans? <laughs> Mabel, to destroy my marriage? For you to come in? Really? Well, Anne, I want you to know that I like Charles first. So all this I did, I just plotted ways to get it back. And my love, I finally succeeded. Get used to it. So that's why you framed me up. Maybe like, the 
called you my best friend. And you took a picture of me as evidence and you sent to Charles. <laughs> and I liked Charles. I wanted him, but you used your bewitchment to bewitch him. Okay. Let me tell you something. Men do not like cheap girls like you. He would leave you. Watch out. You're joking. Just get up. Please be fast. all those moments you call me crying on the phone that your husband is yet to be back home <laughs> he was with me snoring from good sex or suckling from my breast and uh, do you remember those times you called me that your husband doesn't touch you it's because he's exhausted from having me and I am always happy hearing the cry of your voice from the problem I caused. You shameless whore! Well, darling, I am not in my husband's house sleeping with men outside. You are the whore among us! Mabel, I cursed the day I met you. <laughs> Don't bother, darling. I was never your friend. I'm all, always around you for what I can steal from you. Don't be a dummy. You know, soon, Charles will break free from that little charm of yours. <laughs> My darling, it's never happening. You know why? Because he's so in love with me. I can beat on that. Let's go. Come on, Dad. Whatever. Time to heal, you'll be fine. You will. Has someone ever set you up with something as serious as this? Has anyone? Good. You can't relate. So stop trying. But it's a good thing that you now know her true identity. Huh? Such a friend could kill. And thank God she didn't take your life. She only took your man. And to think that he brought her into his home almost immediately after chasing you out? That's really sad. And it's a clear indication that he never deserved you in the first place. So you should move on. So how is it a good thing? You know, what I'm trying to say is, you deserve better. You deserve more. More than just a friend who had been an enemy in disguise. You deserve more than just a man who could replace you replace you within a twinkle of an eye. Yes. 
That's the major reason you should bounce back. That's the best way to fight back. Mm? Okay? You see, I got you this. You should eat. You've lost a lot of weight. Please. I'm sorry, I, I brought you into my mess. You really do not have to apologize. You don't need to. I'm sure this was exactly the reason our paths crossed in the first place. Okay? And I'm happy I'm here to be of help. Well, I will be on my way to work now. I'll be back to check up on you. Feel free to call me if you need me to get anything for you. to act fast because honestly because honestly I don't want her ever coming here to humiliate me like this Babe, please it's okay I will handle it <laughs> okay listen I'm gonna handle this just leave it to me I'll do I'll fix it how sure are you how sure are you <sighs> I'm going to do it it's okay I got this come now
thing you do You won't get away with causing someone pain No, think twice cause in the end Justice must be served You go painful for everything you've done Mabel! Mabel! Yes, babe, what is it? Where's the remote? It used to be right here. It was right here. Where's the remote? I want to watch something now. Where's the remote? Then look for it yourself. Do I walk along with the remote? Look for it yourself. You were the one who was watching Telemundo the other day. You leave this remote anywhere you like. Where's the remote? And I said look for it yourself. That's why you're shouting like a mad dog. Look for it. Look for it somewhere. Look for it yourself. It's somewhere. Sir. You must be stupid. You didn't get down and look for the remote. Get down and look for it. Charles, why did you invite me here? Okay, well at least are we gonna order something to drink or eat? I do not want anything. Why did you invite me here? That's my question. Look, um, I don't know what happened to us. Okay, I, I, do you want me to file for divorce? You don't know what happened to us. Your mistress framed us to get access to you. So congratulations. Wait, what do you mean? What do I mean? Go home and ask her. Okay, but at least don't you want to fix it? Fix what? Charles, and... fix what? And what is it's your home? We should fix it. I'm no longer interested. I've moved on. Charles, I'm starting something new. And uh, you don't want to make it true what they say about you. I will be waiting for the divorce papers. Excuse me. Let me 
I show you the other one? Um, yes. Yes. Is anything the matter? Thank you. Thank you, Frank, for being here. You don't have to thank me for anything. You see, if you promise me to stay with me every day of my life and let me take good care of you, I'll not just be the luckiest man on earth. I'll be very grateful to God. <laughs> I'll let you. Come wow. <laughs> Mm. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Maybell! Maybell! So it's that why you are shouting? Because of food? You must be stupid. Are you mad? Who do you think you're talking to? Hey? Eh? Just slap me. Did you ever in your fucking life let those your feel, feel dirty finger on me? Are you mad? That's why. Yes. Yes, you this man, you're just a big fool. What eh? are you doing? You're just a big fool. Me a big fool. See, what if you call your problem? Eh? So how much are you even going to pay me for all this over and they push you? How many minutes I don't push you now? You don't abuse me. I'm such a big fool. Go. Call that your husband, I won't do it like this. Make, 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 make him push you. Let's say they Where are you going? Get out, where are they go? I don't go have a pause. Let's say they Chris. <laughs> See, we are done, they push you from here, there, and I. They shout. Push yourself. Push yourself. Push yourself. <laughs> Please come back now. I am. Okay, I beg, come. Protect you, but it's sad to know some of them will scheme against you. 